Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. We're asking the question, will we see them before the end of the year? So this reading is timeless. You can watch it at any time and you will be asking the same question, whether you watch it in January or in March or in December. The question is, Will you be seeing them before the end of the year? And seeing them may mean bumping into them on the street. It may mean uh, watching, seeing them from across the street. It may be, mean seeing them at an event or uh, perhaps meeting with them uh, specifically for the point of um, meeting each other. And so this is actually a reading that may be applied to a loved one uh, or somebody that you're hoping to meet, a work colleague, a family member, a friend. It could apply to anyone, um, actually. So we have five uh, Sibylla decks here, and we have um, deck one, two, three, four, and five. Please make your selection, and then you can go di directly to your reading. Uh, the timestamps are in the description box. So I'm going to go ahead and begin this reading. So for those of you who chose this deck here, that's the first deck, We the question we're asking is, will we see them before the end of this year? Will we see them before the end of this year? So um, I want to say the answer is no here. What, what will happen is that um, you may find that uh, you may find out some information which you hadn't known before, which would give you the hope that you may be able to meet this person. And but then it's almost as if you almost have the chance to meet them, but then you don't. Um, and then, you know, you you're quite disappointed by that. Um, or you you may meet this person and you realize that what you hoped would be between you and that person would not actually be because they've actually it's like they don't intend to meet you it's like um you might see them but they with somebody else or if it's a love situation or you might uh find out that they are cheating on you um and uh, you may you may see them in the, in that context um or you, if this is a a friend or a family member it's as if um, you hear of something going on in their life and you're thinking oh you know I could join them I could be a part of it but then somehow you're not able to make that happen because something comes in the way of that and then you you're quite disappointed as a result of it so um, uh, yeah I see this is some kind of blockage if it's some kind of work colleague or some um, associate of yours um, it's as if you hear some good news about them and you know you're wondering about them you're thinking about them and then uh, the possibility to meet with them doesn't actually arrive so it might be that you choose to meet each other at a train station uh, but their train arrives late and you need to take your train and be on your way or, or you may or that could apply to the airport as well you might decide that you'd meet at an airport to say hello but something happens so that you don't actually meet and I want to just say that, you know, nothing is set in stone and one can um, manifest what one wants in one's life uh, to a large extent. So as long as that person wants it as well, it will be. And so and sometimes, of course, you know, life comes in and plays a different kind of role and, and nobody gets what they want. But um, I'm feeling here that this is a situation which actually can be shifted like this is a blockage which can be shifted so you know you can manifest this um, through meditation or you can do this you know use some kind of ritual uh, etc to change this but I feel that uh, the chance to meet is, is good it's just that it won't result in, in actually meeting uh, so that is the reading for you uh, those of you who chose the first deck and um, moving on uh, to the second for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question we're asking today is, will we meet them before the end of this year? So 
this is interesting because it's the same card as uh, the one in the other deck uh, that we've had just now. But here it's a little bit different. So here the answer is a definite no. I don't feel like you'd even be planning to meet them. Yeah, I just don't feel that you'll get to meet them here, unfortunately. Uh, or maybe fortunately for you. I, I don't think there's something to be worried about here. But what I actually see is that just like in the first reading... There is the sense that uh, you find out something important about this person or rather you, you have some surprising news that comes to your attention or something comes to your attention which you didn't know before. What I think happens in this case is that it causes you um, sadness or it may even cause you ill health as a result of that. Or you may hear um, of something about this person where they're well but then you hear immediately after that they are not well and I feel that uh, there'll be talk of it there well, the, the cards rather say that there'll be talk of it it will be almost as if uh, it'll be talked about as opposed to anything happening so the the chance of actually you meeting each other is quite uh, improbable I feel like that person that you want to meet actually is probably going to be unwell or, or it, in some cases it could also be you or it, it could be something Thing that makes you makes it impossible for you to meet but it could be that you talk to each other or you talk to others about this person or, but there is talk of it so it might be something that is openly discussed amongst people the fate of this person is well known and so you, uh, there's more than one person discussing this uh, with them and so I'm sorry to say this but um, I guess forewarned is forearmed and um, perhaps it won't be that the person has ill health, but perhaps it will just be that the news is not as good as you expect it to be. Or uh, perhaps um, you're just sad because you cannot meet, because you think that you can meet here, but then there's not a possibility to meet. So it doesn't necessarily mean that someone's going to get ill, although that is a possibility here because the card is actually talking about a sickness here um, or somebody not being well enough uh, and needing help. Um, the caption is actually weakness in English so and in um, the other language as well uh, debilitation so the the, um, the 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 way it looks is that yes there's a chance yes you're excited about it no it's not possible and then there's talk of it and then that's basically what happens um, I, I just get the sense though that you might like when all of this passes you might actually see this person and it might, it won't be at the end of this year, but uh, it will be thereafter. So thank you for those of you who've uh, read, uh, have chosen this one. I'm sorry, that's not the best of news. And then for those of you who've chosen this one here, the question we're asking today is, will I see them before the end of this year? Will, we, will I see them before the end of this year? Will the current see the person that they're thinking about before the end of this year? There we are. So yeah, I feel there may be travel and um, or maybe this person that you are thinking about is actually traveling. There is a sense that you could see them because maybe they're traveling to you, okay? Um, but I feel like you, it's also, unfortunately, um, that it might cause you sadness. So it's almost like you get to see them. Like the question is, will you see them? And I'm feeling that in this case, there's a very uh, good chance of it being a yes. But there's a, But I just don't feel that you'll be happy about this. For some reason, you'll be unhappy about this. Um, this person doesn't turns out to not be what you expect the person to be they tend to be somebody who's been showing you a part of themselves which is not really who they are they've been building up their image for you and um yeah you you actually turn out to be quite disappointed with what you uh, with what you you know you you it's almost as if you you've expected something more from this person and you you're not really receiving it Although I do feel that, that there will be an effort to be meet, to meet. There will be somebody making the effort to come to you. Somebody, um, yeah, like making themselves, building themselves up to be something uh, more than they are. And then uh, almost feeling that you want to distance yourself from this person because they're not what you, you expected them to be here. Um, 
in some cases, uh, I want to say this is a yes, okay? But I think that in some cases, uh, this might be a no, uh, simply because you get to see them, but you don't get to meet them. So it's like you have, they travel towards you, or they come to you, um, or they, they spend time in your vicinity. And then you're expecting to see them, but then something, um, that, that person behaves in an offish manner. Or oh, that pe that person uh, comes in to your country or to your city or um, like to visit family or to do something over the holidays. And then um, you say to them, well, I'd like to meet, but and, and they seem to be like all happy to meet. But then uh, when it comes to it, it, uh, it perhaps doesn't happen or you get to see them from a distance, but it's not what you thought. Like maybe you thought you'd have an intimate conversation with them, but and in fact, uh, it's not really that. It's it's more like you see them with other people and they don't give you a chance to have an intimate conversation with them. Or what you're hoping for is not actually what it is that that happens. So you may, you may be hoping to have some kind of um, kinship with them or some feeling of closeness to them, um, but you don't you feel ostracized you feel rejected you feel pushed away from them simply by their way of being not because they're necessarily doing anything uh, towards you or rejecting you but simply because of how they've behaved within this context so yeah just be just um watch out for for that um and that's your reading uh for those of you who've chosen this one in other as i said in other instances it might be that you meet this person and uh, you're just disappointed but yeah i feel like it is a yes like you would actually meet this person so we're asking here from the deck number four will we get to see this person before the end of the year will we get to see this person before the end of the year will the current get to see the person that they're asking about before the end of this year Yes, answer. You will get to see this person before the end of the year. I feel that um, you might meet them once. This is somebody who's um, you haven't met this person, and you're asking this que the question: Will I see or meet the person of my dreams over the holidays, over the next few weeks? Okay. Uh, the the answer is yes. Okay, because you're likely to meet this person at an event, or at a wedding, or at a funeral, or at some kind of public e event. And then you'll be thinking about this person and then you'll actually get to meet this person privately. All right. Or you get to meet them maybe with other people, but it'll be a more intimate context. If those of you, if, if you, if you know you're going to be meeting this person um, at an event, if you know that you're going to this place, you're going to be meeting this person, you're expecting that to happen. Yes. Well, it will happen. And um, after that, you'll both be thinking of each other and you will make another visit possible and this will be a more intimate visit this will be something where you come together um, more privately although there could be other people around once again uh, this is definitely a yes answer uh, you may meet each other at an event you may meet each other as i said at a wedding at a funeral at some kind of public event at a year and party at any kind of party uh, at any kind of celebration and uh, there will be, you will be thinking about each other and that will be what will lead to an actual meeting between the two of you. Um, and uh, that definitely applies to love situation as well as to a family member or a friend or a work associate or, or a colleague. Um, it, it applies to all these situations. So yes, finally a yes answer. I'm very happy for you. Okay, and so for the, those that chose in the last deck here, the question we're asking is, will you get to see the person you're thinking of before the end of this year? So this is actually similar to the first couple of decks that we had. Um, I feel that you will get to meet this person, although in the first couple of decks, it was a negative answer. Um, there is, a, though, what's similar is that there'll be some kind of surprise. There'll be some kind of surprise information. There'll be something that you're not expecting that will 
uh, come your way that you will hear about. And I feel that um, this is something that uh, brings you uh, a lot of distress. It brings you a great deal of um, upset. So it might be that you find out something and you think it's a good thing, but then you discover that it's actually not a good thing and it causes you distress. Uh, or perhaps you meet somebody else and this is your lover who is it's causing a distress, but then you work it out in conversation. So do, do you definitely meet each other? The answer is yes. You definitely meet each other and it's a good card. I mean, it's good conversation and it's also warmth and happiness and joy and a uh, good feeling of friendship and love. And it's, it's actually a good feeling. All right. But it's preceded by um, distress, uh, by desperation, by uh, perhaps uh, literally jealousy, uh, by something where you're feeling insecure, you're not certain, you uh, you unclear, you 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 become you know anxious and, and desperate because you don't really know whether there will be this meeting or you are or, or this is the result of this kind of surprise that you thought was going to be something good that you thought was going to be something that will be to your benefit or something to to the benefit of the person that you you're asking about, but actually it turns out to be not. Uh, to your benefit. So um, this is something that you need to be aware of. And as I said in one of the other readings, forewarned is forearmed. So you know that, uh, you know, be prepared for any surprises that are coming your way and uh, just, you know, arm yourself and um, just know that the outcome is going to be good. Okay, you're going to have this resolved and this is a situation where you're going to have this warm, fuzzy feelings. You're going to have good times. You're going to be feeling good. You're going to be feeling in love. And it's going to be a good time, you know. And um, if this is about a situation regarding uh, a friend, it's like uh, you discover something about your friend, which is a bit scary. Or you discover something about your friend, which you thought, which you didn't know about. And perhaps your friend is, is going through a rough time or they're depressed or something like this. And then you come together with them and, it, you know, you cheer them up and uh, you have good times. And, and that, that situation is past. It's no longer there. This person moves beyond that situation. If this is with regard to a family uh, situation and you're wondering if you're going to be seeing your family, if you're wondering if you're going to be seeing them or one particular person, fam one particular family member, um, you might uh, try to surprise them or you might think of uh, of surprising them, but it actually turns out to be uh, much too much of a hassle and not worthy of your time and not worthy of the effort that you put into it perhaps because things don't work out in terms of travel or things don't work out in terms of last minute meetings and the universe is just not supporting you in this and uh but at the end of the day when you finally given up and you finally feel that you know you're just ready to throw the towel in and, and just give up you actually do get to meet them and it, it turns out to be quite a a, a nice uh happy affair. The only thing that's coming up in terms of a work situation is that you may um, be surprised at a uh, year end event where you go and you meet some, uh, you meet one of your colleagues and you see this person in a, in a very drunken state and you're not expecting to see them in that way but it's actually a really good uh, fun time that you have there and um, you it might be like you've uh, like a cat let out of the bag or something like this where you're actually um, not expecting to go there or not expecting to meet this person there but at the last minute they happen to be there and but then you see them in a very drunken state and you 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 just like wondering about all about them and you but you actually have a, a good time so i think at the end of the day this card these cards here give the, the, the results is ultimately positive and you do get to meet this person and you do get to have a lovely time so that's it for those of you who've chosen uh the sibylla decks and uh, yeah, I thank you for coming by and I hope this has brought some kind of clarity to you. I'm sure that lots of you are wondering with the festive season coming up, whether you're going to meet this person or about whether it's a lover or whether it's a family member or a friend. And I hope that this has brought you some kind of clarification. At the very least, I hope it's brought you some kind of thing, some kind of warning so that you're not going into a situation blind, but that you are prepared and I just want to mention one last time. These readings are timeless, so you can return to them and ask about them, um, you know, in the future as well. And so all the best to you and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.